afternoon guys well just as an aside from chainsaws for a second um, I bought this steel chopping now I think about is it about a year ago I'm not sure if I've mentioned it online before um, it's the biggest one that's still doing their range and it is spectacular. Whatever wood I've been unable to split with my other axes and my other chopper mouths, this thing just absolutely destroys everything it hits. And the overstrike protection with this steel collar, if any of you are chopping a lot of wood, I went through so many axes early on, obviously partially um, poor technique on my part, a poor stance, and then overstriking but occasionally if you've got an awkward piece of timber you'll get an overstrike and this steel is so good it hits the wood and it kind of just bounces off of it and so I think it cost I think just under 80 pounds and I can honestly say that's the best axe I have ever purchased and I've gone through a lot and it's I can't ever really see it see it wearing out so that's the steel chopping mouth just as uh, as a heads up if anybody's looking to buy a decent splitting axe then this is uh, an incredible piece of kit so I was just digging through the saws again which I haven't cut with for a very long time this is one of my little baby um, baby steels and I'm just doing a count for the number of saws I have um, certainly less than 50 cc's but slightly between the 30 and 40 cc category and I have 22 um, which is really way too many <laughs> I just don't cut with them and my favorite ones out of all of those are obviously I love the steels but I was looking and I virtually never cut with this steel and a couple of other small steels I have and a few jobus so my go-to saw, the tiny ones when I pick them up, is purely historical as well because this steel cuts better than my favourite. My favourite is the Danon, the Danon 36. I love the all magnesium alloy chassis and I just love the way it feels when I run it. It's a little howler and back-to-back -back cutting, they're, they're identical but the steel is, is uh, <laughs> it's vastly superior quality wise but there you go, not everything we do makes sense. So. I thought, you know, a few of the other ones, I'm going to put them up for sale and make space because I have, um, I have some early 1950 Clinton saws arriving, so I've got to try to make some space. So here we go. So this little steel is the 010, so this is a 30, these are 37 cc's, and I should remember these details really, so I think they are... Um, 1978. They are 19, they're from 1978. So um, I'm pretty sure all these were made in America as well. Although you know they're obviously steel is a German manufacturer. And running a 13-inch steel bar, had a brand new chain not long ago. Virtually I'm not even sure if I've ever cut with this with this brand new chain. So maybe once when I first fitted it. So I thought I'd show you what she's like. Lovely little lightweight saw, so about nine and a half pounds in weight, can run up to a 16 inch bar. This bar is in just okay condition. It's a genuine steel. It's got a couple of tiny chips on the, um, out of the nose, which I only noticed today, because I just, uh, I don't really cut with it. It just hangs up, making up the collection. This is the early orange and black. The next one up from this, the 010, would be in the orange and white with the AVQ, with the electronic quick stop, with a, with a chain break. This one just has a sprung-loaded hand guard. But a lovely running engine. Bit of choke.
nice. So, um, well, so this is six or seven inch oak. Again, the same batter I was cutting with earlier, cutting using the 041 and solid wood. So she cuts really, really cleanly and it's strange though, when you've been using, I was cutting with a 90cc earlier, now I was cutting with the 041 which is a 61cc and that's, that's a noticeable drop but it's still the 041, such a satisfying saw to use. Then you come down to the little um, 37 cc's, so I think these are one and a half horsepower and can run up to a 16 inch bar. I'm pretty sure they want the, they're claimed one and a half horsepower. They feel they feel very small after using the bigger engines, but still, they just um, you can forget just how much productivity and how much wood you can get through. Let me show you on a couple other cuts. Um, There's so much wood to saw up. Guys, let me just pan around and show you the how much you are in a second. So, I've been splitting with the axe. So I've got a pile of oak here. I've got some silver birch and larch. And then here I've got a, another pile of oak to work through. Um, and then there's several tons of larch and pine. To, to dice up at the back, hopefully to get ready for this winter. Right, let's put the camera back on and grab her. another couple of pieces of wood and hopefully, I mean, she, she's a gorgeous running saw. Starts as she should, stops as she should, um, cuts really, really well. Grab, uh, okay. Try on a larger piece of larch just to see that you know what we'll have what type of capability they have. Oh my goodness. Okay. Right. Ah. Okay. So what have we got here? So ten or eleven inch larch. So that's applying, it's strange, on the smaller engines, you just need to let really just the, the, the weight of the saw and just the blade do the work. You know, they don't have the power to be forced through the wood like, obviously like some of the bigger engines which you can really push through the wood. But just letting the, the blade do the work and 
There you go. So if you wanted to cut it with bigger wood, you could quite happily cut through this size timber with her as well. And uh, let me grab a couple more pieces. Actually, if you can forget how much fun they are, just because they're so light as well to use. Again, a bit more, a bit more oak, six inches. So a lovely firewood saw, incredibly manageable as well. So throttle lock, kill switch off. Surprising, even with even with a small saw, the quantity of wood you can get through in just a couple of minutes with a really nicely configured small engine is staggering. Guys, thanks for watching. That's my Steel 010 AV. Um, so like I say, up to 42 years old, in the old original colours, which is a lovely thing to have. And going up on eBay as a collector's item, starts well. I'd say it cuts really, really nicely. And I'd say there was only one thing probably I would mention, which is the, the guide bar has a couple of chips towards the nose. Obviously doesn't appear to affect his cutting, but you know, eventually that's gonna need another guide bar. But, you know, fortunately they're only small. That's a little 13 inch bar. All the AVs appear okay. And she's done virtually no work with me whatsoever. Really, really good compression. And just a gorgeous, gorgeous, small, lightweight, manageable sword. Okay, there she is. That's the 010 AV, uh, non-chain brake. And I'll um, try to get out two more saws now and show you a couple of others. Guys, thanks for watching. Back in a bit. Bye for now.